Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel for another fun fold. Uh, this card I'm very excited to bring to you because it uses our brand new Butterfly Brilliance bundle. Uh, this bundle is available now in my online store and it's absolutely fabulous. You know, you think you've got enough butterflies and then Stampin' Up! comes out with a new design and you go, okay, well I need those as well. These are just stunning butterflies. So let me just show you what's in this set. First off, this is the Butterfly Brilliant stamp set. It's one large stamp and they're larger than what you see on the front cover. So here they are. And the reason why they did it in one big stamp is because they designed a die that will cut them all out at once. They all become individual butterflies. So you can stamp this out in say your memento black and then you can use your blends or your watercolor pencils and then color them all in and then you can use the die to cut them out. Um, I want you to think about other techniques, <coughs> excuse me, that you could use. You could stamp the, or ink this up with your Versamark and then you could put, um, you know, white embossing powder over it and then you could watercolor the images or you could do gold embossing powder or silver embossing powder and cut them out. Um, there are so many things you can do with it. I actually just even did them in just the Memento Black and then I used my Wink of Stella and colored over them. I have an example of a butterfly here. I don't know if you can see that, but this is just Memento Black with the Wink of Stella on top. Very, very pretty. Okay, so that's the stamp set and the one big die. Now, the other thing about this die is that there is a pack of paper, um, six by six paper. These are absolutely stunning, stunning um, patterns. So you've got on one side, you've got, you know, lots of different butterfly designs. And I have to tell you, there are eight sheets in each design. Okay. Then you've got this beautiful watercolor rainbow effect butterflies. Then you have this with kind of a sky background or watercolored background. Then you have this one, all these different multicolored little butterflies. Then you have this one I absolutely love, all these monarch butterflies floating around in the sky. And then, um, and then the best thing is this sheet here of butterflies and you can then use this die to then cut all of these butterflies out. Just fantastic use of a die and DSP. Now, the one thing I need to tell you is that this paper is limited. Um, this will not carry over in the, our new annual catalog. Um, so if you want the paper, I would advise you to get it now and get it quickly because it's just, it's being, it's so popular right now. Okay. So you want to think about that and it's a nice thickness. So you could do some lovely boxes with this as well. All right, so that's the paper, and that is the uh, the stamp set, and the other dies that come with it. They're very intricate dies. They're cutting out beautifully. This is what they look like, and I'm going to show you some of the. I've cut out just a bunch. Um, so look how intricate these are. Can you see that? They're just stunning. I cut out a whole bunch with vellum, so you can layer the vellum on top. Um, and you can uh, you can you know cut them out in all different colors of cardstock. So I just spent some time cutting out a whole bunch of butterflies. I've got a whole dish here as well. So these are the butterflies that I cut from the DSP. But look how beautiful they are. And then I've just been adding Wink of Stella onto all of them. Then I cut out some solid vellum butterflies. And I want to show you uh, this one I did in black. Look how stunning that is. Now imagine that in gold or silver. I haven't done gold or silver yet. So it's nice to cut out a whole bunch at once and then as you're creating you've got to, them to play with which is you know what I love. Okay and then on top of the butterflies you also have some other little elements. So these little elements actually cut out, they create a background. So you can create a background um, with these bricks 
and there's a other brick design there's two other small solid butterflies that you can use um, and there's this splatter technique which is really really cool so um, if you stick around to the end of the video I'm going to show you some other cards that I've made okay so your fun fold for today I don't know what it's called I, I'm going to call it a peek, maybe it's a peek through card. So this is basically what it looks like. And I did make this card quite a number of years ago. The essential element for making this card is one of our um, label punches. This is called the classic label punch. Some of you may have the older punch that is um, a label punch, but it's got rounded edges. So any of those punches work well because that is how you make this hole in the card. Okay. You need to make this and you kind of punch it once and then move it down and punch again I'll show you because you need it to be wide enough to fit the butterfly inside now this was my prototype card and I wanted to use the largest butterfly but the problem I encountered is that after I did the hole and when you create the hole you can only you put the punch in as far as it will go so you don't really have a choice of how deep into the side of the card you want to go you're you're limited by how far you can get that punch in there and so the the key thing to think about is then how wide is the image so this butterfly what happened let me just pull out another one here's an example so when I cut the hole and this was centered in here the butterfly stuck out to um the side of my card um, and I wasn't sure that it was going to fit in the envelope. So what I did was I shifted it over a little bit to fit inside. And so it, it doesn't quite fit centered. Don't know if you can see that. You see, I've, I pushed it over. So that was kind of my mistake. I wanted to make sure the butterfly fit on the width of the card. But remember this card base, um, being four and a quarter inches wide, it will allow for a little overlap um, for your envelope. So I could have just left it in the middle. Um, but you know, these are the lessons that you've learned. And then this is one of the, the reverse sides of the paper, which I actually, I forgot to show you that, but there's some beautiful patterns on the back of all the butterflies. So I will just fan this card out again and turn it over. Let's fan it this way. Okay, so look at all these watercolored um, colors on here so this is the one I used for this card so you've got that design then you've got this sort of Bermuda Bay design and then look at the pinks and the calypso coral I love those two colors together and then you've got some calypso coral and then sorry that's my backing sheet lots of colors in this and then this is the back of the all the butterflies look at that isn't that pretty yeah, so you've got lots of beautiful papers to choose from. Sometimes it's really hard to decide you want it, which side to use. That's why you've got eight sheets each. So, And then what I did was I embossed this with an embossing folder. Okay, and I tied some ribbon around it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make this card. All right, so I'm going to change up the colors. And I'm using a smaller butterfly. Okay, so it's not as wide. And so it, it will fit perfectly and not overlap on the side of this card. Okay, all right, so let's just put this other stuff out of the way. All right, so I've decided to use this beautiful pattern with the gorgeous grape and the um, Bermuda Bay, and I've decided to use a gorgeous grape card base. So you're going to start with four and a quarter by 11. You're going to score it at five and a half. So that's your card base, okay? And the key thing is that you want to... Um, you want to um, emboss your paper first and then you're gonna glue it on and then you're going to cut your punch piece out, okay? So I'm gonna take this over to an embossing folder and emboss this, so I'll be right back. The first embossing folder that I used on this card was called the Old World Paper. This is just a stunning embossing folder. And for this card, I decided to do something different. This is called the Parisian Flourish. 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 Parisian Flourish. Okay, and I love creating texture on, on, uh, on pattern papers. It's hard to see maybe here. But, um, yeah, it's really pretty in person. Okay, so what I want to do now is I'm going to glue this to my card base. And I'm going to use Tombow. 
just because the piece is embossed and I don't want to press down with my tape runner and push down the, um, the embossing. So I'm going to put this on my card. Now I don't advise you doing any other layers on here because it will be very difficult to punch through. So just the DSP on the card base is enough, okay? I'm feeling really good today because I really tidied up my craft desk yesterday. I couldn't believe how dusty and yucky it was. I was using alcohol to clean up um, bits of glue and getting rid of some pieces that I know I'm not going to use again. Now, when I cut this uh, DSP down, you know, it was six by six. So I cut it at four, you know, four by six. And then I cut it down to my five and a quarter. And I ended up with this little strip. So this is really handy because that's what I'm going to put on the inside of my card with a piece of whisper. Sorry, I keep saying whisper white. It's basic white now. I'll put this on the bottom of a piece of basic white for the inside of my card. So don't waste these little scraps when you cut up your paper. All right, so the next thing I want to do is, um, this is where the butterfly is going to be positioned. So I'm going to put in my punch here. Okay, and again, as I said, put it in as far as it will go. And you don't want to go too close to the top. Okay, you're going to push it right in. And you're going to punch. And then you're just going to slide it down a little bit to make sure that that butterfly fits through. So I'm going to, again, push it down. And then do another little punch. Okay. All right, now the next thing you needed was your main butterfly. So this one I cut out of that piece of DSP. And then I took the dies. Um, now, even though this die is uh, one large die, you know, rather than cut out um, my, this is mint macaron, rather than cut out a whole half sheet of mint macaron, you know, you can just position position you know the die on your small piece of cardstock and just cut out you know the one butterfly so that's what I did so you need two of them okay so you need three butterflies in total and you need to make sure you cut out the same shape and then you're going to score each of the butterflies in, you can fold them in half if you want but I like to use my um my scoring tool and score them in half okay so all three of them are scored in half. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn the main butterfly over and you're going to glue, put glue on half of this butterfly and glue it down and half on this one and glue it down, okay? So that you're creating this effect. Can you see that? Okay, so I'm just gonna put glue actually on here. I think it's easier. So I'm going to put glue actually on the whole thing. Okay, so now I'm going to place this butterfly and they're the same shape, so you should be able to line it up. Okay, and that's why I like Tombow because I can slide it to make sure it fits perfectly. Then I'm going to take the other half and I'm going to slide that on the other half like that, okay? So I'm just gonna hold that down. Make sure that they're stuck really well. I have to tell you, I am really loving this set. I've been playing with it all week and I've made several cards. It's been so, oh, there's so many cards out there on Pinterest you can look at. So many different techniques you can do with it. Or just do some real simple stuff. Okay, all right, so there we have our butterfly. So this is what it should look like, okay? 
All right, so now I need a piece of four by five and a quarter whisper white. So I'm gonna go and get that. I'll be right back. Now, you have to put in this whisper white on the inside of the car, glue that down uh, before you do the butterfly. That's an important step. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my little strip at the bottom. This is four inches wide. So let me just do this. I like to leave a little tiny white border at the bottom. I don't know why. I just do. <laughs> Okay, and that fits absolutely perfectly. If it was a little bit too long, remember to always trim from the back of the card. Okay, and now I'm going to put this on the inside of the card. like so. Okay, now on this one I decided not to use ribbon or I might do a different ribbon thing, not sure yet, but really if you're going to use the ribbon I would suggest that you tie the ribbon underneath the DSP before you put it on top of your card base. Okay, I don't particularly like the ribbon to go all the way around the card, I think it's a waste. Um, so you could, so I always mount it to this, um, the first layer. All right, so this is what you're going to do with the butterfly. So the butterfly is going to be tucked in like this. Okay, so you want to decide where you're going to put it. Now this slit is way too big, so that's another little lesson. It didn't need to be, well it has to be, actually that's, let me back up a bit. Let me get this out of here. Um, this uh, slot has to be the width of the widest part of your image. So if this was a circle you were putting in here, it has to be the widest part. So it is a tad too long, maybe. I didn't need to uh, make it that long, but that's what you're judging it by, okay? So let's just fold the top. We're putting these two pieces in the slot. Then you're going to open up the whole butterfly like this, okay? And then you decide whereabouts you want it. So now what I'm thinking of, and it has to be centered because remember, this has to be able to slide through. So if you hold your fingers in here, you want to make sure that it's positioned so that you can lift it off. You see that? That's important. You don't want it to be... You know, if you put it too low here, then you can't get it out. And if you put it too high, you can't get it out. So just center that in there to make sure you can get that butterfly out, okay? So what you want to do is hold it in place like so. And then open up the card like so and don't move it, okay? And then you're going to take your glue again. You could use tear and tape for this if you wanted to, but I just find the Tombow much faster. And you're going to glue, put glue on this piece here. Okay. You're going to hold that and make sure it's centered. Remember my other butterfly I showed you, I had it over to the left. But this is centered within, you know, you've got your two little points here. So just make sure it's centered and it's not crooked. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull... The card down and hold it. I got really nervous doing this part. I thought, oh my gosh, I've glued the whole card shut together, <laughs> but it'll be fine because that's just how you do it. Okay, so pull up your card and then you're going to open it. And to open it, and you might have to put a little instruction in here for your recipient. 
you're going to open it and then squeeze the butterfly and then you have your butterfly on the inside is that not just the cutest thing i love that and oh my god look at these papers okay so to finish off my card i got this ribbon it's gorgeous great ribbon so look at this gorgeous grape ribbon. This is um, is shown in our um, spring mini um, in the section where the Hydrangea Hill suite is. I haven't purchased anything from that suite yet, but I just, I love the purple ribbon. It's a sheer ribbon. Look, it's just gorgeous. So I don't know. I'm going to see if I can just tie a little bow and see what that looks like down at the bottom. And then I might get out some, oh, look at that. How pretty is that? Yeah, I might just do a little bow on there. Let me pull out my, here they are, my ribbon scissors. I love these scissors. These belong to my mother-in-law. She was an avid sewer. And she passed away five years now. My husband was that was her his his mom. Five years. How time flies. Feels like it was just yesterday. Okay, I'm looking for my glue dots. So I'm gonna pull out my glue dots and A glue dot down and then stick my ribbon on there I don't know that this card really does need much more because it's just stunning um, I could pull out I am an embellishment freak um, I always I purchase all the embellishments available these little clear ones are really pretty maybe I'll put some of these on here I can't can never help myself so um, I've got these frost, oh, I'm running out, these clear ones. And I've got these beautiful frosted ones. I'm going to put these on for a change. And of course, Wink of Stella. All these butterflies, I've been just plying it with Wink of Stella. So you can choose to do the whole butterfly or I've just been going over the um, any of the little dark bits and just putting some Wink of Stella, just to add a bit of shine embellishing your you know dsp is the best of both worlds because you don't have to stamp and color you just have to cut out the dsp so if, when you need a fast card it's um the best way to go really look how beautiful that is might come in here. Oh. Now, I'm sorry, but you know, Wink of Stella just doesn't show up on camera very well at all. But in real life, when you get it under your lights, it's just stunning. Okay, let's put on a few of um, a few of these. Um. Let's put a big one on here. So, whoops. Does that have glue on it? Yeah, it does. I like to use my scissors. Oh, I'm being really awkward today. Where'd that go? There we go. So, I think I'll put one up here. And then I'll put um, these are a little bit smaller. Let's put one here. And then we'll put a small one. Here. So I like to have, um, you know, it's just a pencil with an eraser on the end, and I push these down to make sure that they're stuck really well. Okay, so there's your card. 
Isn't that pretty? I hope you'll make one and see, actually, it will actually just open on its own. So you might not need to do any instructions for that. And that size butterfly, I think it did fit a lot better in there. That is so pretty. So pretty. Look at that. Love that. Okay, so I promised you that I would show you some of these other cards. Oh my gosh, I love this ribbon too. Let me show you these other cards that I have that I've been making. So I'll bring this one back in just so that you can see it. I might remake this one and let it hang over the edge a bit because there's room in the envelope for that. Okay, and then I've made, um, these are the ones I've made so far. Okay, so this was the first one I made. So this is DSP that I got for free during celebration. So these butterflies work so well. If you got a lot of DSP during celebration, pull out those papers and use it with the butterflies. They're just, you know, fantastic. This piece was left over from a paper pumpkin kit. This is that beautiful ribbon, sheer ribbon that we have in our catalog beautiful so that's what I and there's another little tiny cut out butterfly there so that's one card I made and of course it's got lots of wink of Stella on there and then I made um, this card now what was fun about this card and it just came to me um, I when I cut out let me see let me pull out the papers again When I cut out this sheet with the die, cut out all the butterflies, look at all the butterflies that are left over. And I thought, gosh, I don't want to waste those. So I don't know. I just sat one afternoon with a cup of tea and I was watching YouTube and I just cut out these butterflies. And what I did was I then took a piece of, um, this is just jade. I ran it through one of our embossing folders to get some texture. And then I glued these pieces on the outside edges. And then used one of the butterflies that I cut out. And then this is a vellum butterfly on top. Look how sweet that is with a little gold ball. And then I, I did the greeting in gold. There's no greetings with this stamp set. So you can pull greetings out from anywhere. So I was very, very pleased with the way that came out. So I can see I'll be doing some more fussy cutting. The other thing you could do is you could just trim this. There's enough room just to trim it and then use this as an edge on your card. Okay, this one you could um, you could just cut out and go around like this to keep the whole edge. Okay, because there's not as much of a straight edge on that. But my goodness, find a use for these. The other thing you could do is you could actually make a six by six card, put this right on the six by six card and then fill it in with some other butterflies that you maybe stamped and colored. Oh my gosh, there's another idea. Okay, so that was my other card that I made. And then I made, I'm, I'm really loving our new blends brushes. So I did some, this is another DSP from the spring catalog. And I um, did some coloring on here. Uh, you always start with the lightest color. And I just kept blending some other colors on here. These were three different colors. And then I did this butterfly. And I sponged this butterfly as well stamped it in black and sponged it and then winked of Stella and then I added a few little of our black gems on here. This was from that curvy stamp set and I embossed that in white. I was really pleased with the way this card turned out and then I also did a couple of other butterflies and sponged those. So that was a lot of fun. And then this one I'm just thrilled with. This is one, I'm going to do a video on this because I'm going to show you how you use these other elements that I showed you earlier, this little brick wall. So I'm gonna show, and this is with our embossing paste. So I will do a video on that card because I think it's really sweet. So that was this here, this little brick pattern. So what I did was I took a piece of Whisper White to create a template and I kept positioning this all the way over that uh, um, basic white cardstock to create a template and then I stuck it down over another piece of whisper white I colored up my embossing paste and schmucked it all over there and so I ended up with this textured background thrilled with that 
Okay, so I think I should do a video on that card because I love the way. And then I use that Curvy Keepsakes dies. Very, very happy with the way that card turned out. Okay. And then I, then the other night, I learned how to do this um, quilting technique. You use squares of DSP and then you run it again through an embossing folder. So I made these two cards and I am actually um, going live tonight to show how to make these kinds of cards. Um, by the time this video comes out tomorrow, of course, you'll have missed it, but you'll be able to watch the replay. And I always post my Facebook lives back onto YouTube anyway, so you can find it there as well. So these were the other two cards I made. So there you go. Those are all the butterfly, the playing with butterfly that I've been doing. So um, I hope you enjoyed this card. There will be an associated blog post, of course. The link will be down below in the video description there. And my host code for March will be there if you'd like to purchase this set. And um, yeah, go make some beautiful, beautiful butterfly cards. Thank you so much, everyone. We will see you again next Friday for another fun fold video. Bye for now.